He tells me who are you without me? I'm the one who brought you to Europe. I, I feel like my world has crashed and I don't want to tell my family back home what I'm going through. Every time my mom or my relatives call, I tell them everything is okay. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yet another story time Saturday. Lizzie Ellie here, a Kenyan YouTuber in Italy. To the new service, welcome, welcome, welcome. To the old ones, but still gold. Thank you so much for watching this mama over here, this Kenyan mama over here. <laughs> and today's story is going to be about an inbox that I got uh, or a DM that I got from this African girl who was like, hey, I watch your channel, Underwater Chinyamaji, and I am going through this thing that I want you to talk about kindly on your channel. First of all, to warn our African girls or Kenyan girls or whatever girls that being married to a white man is not a ticket to heaven. Yes, you can find a white man who is good, but there are some white men who are dangerous out here. So her story goes like she met this man in Africa, and uh, in the beginning things were good uh, when they were dating doing long distance relationship she went on and added that this guy was helping her financially she had a small business i think she was selling second hand clothes or whatever but uh, things started going downhill when she decided to come and settle here in europe she said it has been a few years now but this guy does not want her to work he does not want her to make friends he does not want her to be economically independent and i feel like this girl is dating or is married to a narcissist these are the people who want to make you feel believe to you make you feel like you are nothing they have this self-importance because this girl was like he tells me who are you without me i'm the one who brought you to europe and whatever like this girl cannot even go and make her braids this guy has to take her and then when she finishes he brings her home like she does not even have african friends he controls my social media pages like even now after i finish chatting with you i'm going to delete and uh, this girl was like i feel like i'm in jail like literally i'm in jail the carefree girl that i was when i was in africa is dead now i am under the mercy of this guy she's like this thing is trying is starting to weigh me down like even i don't work i cannot even have money to send home to my family but the thing is my family think that i'm happy because i don't want to burden them and i felt sorry for this girl so this girl is like i'm stranded i don't know what to do i feel like i am a nobody because sometimes he makes me feel like that he belittles me in front of his friends he makes me feel like uh, the love that we had or the love that i thought we had when uh, we were dating when i was in africa is not the same love that he's showing me now so i asked this girl when we were chatting i was like uh, why are you still in that relationship if you feel like this man is treating you like shit she was like i don't know how to get out i i feel like my world has crashed and i don't want to tell my family back home what i'm going through every time my mom or my relatives call i tell them everything is okay i smile but deep inside um, I am hurting that's why when I watched your videos uh, uh, I felt like I could share with you remaining anonymous and I was like try to seek help he's not treating you right he does not want you to get a job you are not economically independent and you not being economically independent that means he's going to control you I know why this guy does not want her to work because he knows the means she goes out to work and get her own money at a chanuka like uh, she is not going to see there she will see a world outside there and i was like how old are you she was told she told me that she's in her early 30s and i think the jama is like in his 60s or something and i was like you need to you need to get out you need to get out because this thing in the long run is going to affect you mentally this girl was like sometimes i look outside the window and i wonder why i came to europe i wonder why i left my family i wonder who am I? Because I think this guy has um, has made her feel like she's a nobody. Don't just sit there and suffer because this man does not love you. A man who loves you would want you to be economically independent. A man who loves you would love you to make friends. A man who loves you would love to you to explore even his country. Not to come and confine you like you're in jail. Like, I'll try even to imagine that he now, me here, Baba, Baba, Tatuango, and Yambi, at Sasa, Italy, Yako, Mefika, Apa. Si, si, tutako sana. Wacha nirudi nyumbani, nikalime. 
Wacha nirudi Kenya nikauze mitumba. Wacha nirudi Kenya niende mjengo. Being married to a white man does not mean that you will find paradise. Huyu ni msichana ameolewa na mzungu na anateseka right now. Na wazazi wake wakiwa kwenye wako hawajui msichana anateseka. Na hana the strength to leave that relationship and go back home or seek help. And I will end this video by saying not all white people are angels and not all black people are angels. Black men, black women. It depends with the character of a person. Please, being married to a white man is not a ticket to heaven. You can get you a, an African man who loves you and cherishes you. Wengine bako wako uko emolewa na wazungu but wanatamani. La wenye wanaona muafrika na pe muafrika ule mwingine. So, leave your comment down below. Uh, I advise this girl on what to do. Me, I told her to seek help and to run away from that. Um, and I told her, if you decide on what to do, just let me know. And I wish her all the best and I pray for her that she will find healing, that she will find a way out. Because there are so many people, African people here, wamejiua. Yes, mtu wana jinyonga, mtu wana kunywa poison, mtu wana jirusha from gorofa, sijui angapi. Because they cannot deal with the trauma of going back home, what wa mchekele, and they have come to the end of the road. So I pray for this girl, and you pray for her too, and if she ever replies again on what happened to her, I will let you know. So yes, guys, that is the, the story time of today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good jazz. Till next time, bye-bye.